Hello Humber students, this is John, your instructor. It's the 22nd of March and we know about this COVID-19 uh, business that's going on. So what I'm trying to do is hopefully keep keep your um, studies and your shop class on the go. Um, <clears throat> I'm here at a job we're doing. It's a, it's a renovation of a basement and um, I'm at the point of putting in a temporary washroom, so I'm going to show you, you know, just basically PEX to copper connections, and um, it's very simple. I use Upanor piping. It's the expansion type, PEX A. It's not uh, the crimp type, but um, this is the one that we use, and I'll show you how it goes. Okay, bear with me. You know, like I always say, we're on the same team. We're trying to accomplish something, so... Try not to laugh too much, okay? Okay, as you see, it's everything's bare. So I did some work before. I put a toilet in and I ran a, a few PEX lines. And again, like I said, this is just going to be temporary. And um, I'm going to show you. I can figure out how this works. I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to show you. Basically, we put in some copper adapters. Here you see on those copper lines, the hot and the cold. We're gonna put a T and a, and a PEX adapter, and um, we'll solder it on, solder on the copper, and we'll put the expansion on the PEX, and I'll show you how that works. Okay. So this is what we're putting together: the um, the copper to PEX adapter. See this this one here? It's together. You got a T, a little uh, riser piece, a 90, and the PEX adapter. So this is how it is uh, exploded. If you can notice, this adapter, I love these, they fit inside. They fit inside the 90s. So that's one less pipe you gotta cut and uh, one less solder connection. They're great. Okay, here's a little trick. Um, okay, these are existing copper copper pipes and uh, what we're going to do is where I mark with the sharpies where I'm going to cut it and put a T. Now just a little trick to speed things up when you're doing some work. Um, I clean the pipe with my grit cloth before I cut it because I know I'm going to have to uh, grit cloth it again later but uh, I do it before you know, just before I put this tea in. Okay, so just something to save a few seconds. Make the job a little easier. Okay, I got my cutter on the pipe. I don't know exactly how this is going to go. The water for the house has been shut off. But I don't know what the, what the drainage is like. So I got my, my pipe and my cutter. I have my trusty bucket. Below, if you can see, you know, if I gotta get some water, I'll catch you with that. And we'll see what happens. I hope I don't spray all over my phone and myself, but whatever, it's just water. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, we're through. It's pretty good, so... Pull down a little bit, no water. Pull this one down a little bit. No water, it's good. Okay, this one should be easy. Okay, um, remember how we always talk about safety? Safety first, safety for yourself, safety for the building. Just plain old work safe. You know, we gotta go home at night, okay? What I've done here is I've put a sheet metal shield because I'm going to be soldering that's fire so I put the shield in there so that uh, you know I'm going to be I'm going to be heating beneath the pipe flames going to be going in a vertical position but I got a shield there so it's going to it's going to I guess protect the wood from uh, getting too hot and igniting obviously so just a little trick you see there's just two screws it only takes a minute, maybe a minute and a half, but it could save lots, okay? Okay, here I got my T's in and my PEX adapters. 
I'm ready to solder. Everything's all pasted up, cleaned up, and um, well, they're ready to go. Um, what can I say? Uh, basically, the shield is there. What you can also do for added security, because this wood, you know, it's 35, 40, 50 years old, extremely dry, extremely flammable. You can get some wet rags, put some wet rags around it, at least wet the wood. So, you know, a little bit more prevention. Okay. What I got is my acetylene. I like I like acetylene better than propane. This size tank is a B tank. I got my bucket of water with a rag to drain, you know, to cool the pipe and clean off the flux so it doesn't go green. And obviously added security a fire extinguisher. Okay, so I'm gonna try to set this up to solder it, or I might get some help from somebody. And uh, like I said before, don't laugh, but you can laugh. You know, it's okay to laugh, but uh, <laughs> just try to understand I'm doing my best, okay? Okay.